today is all about bling. All of these rings come from Amate and they're on our website and I'm going to show you how to make every single one of them and they'll only take you a couple of minutes. Hi, I'm Suze Weinberg and Bling is my middle name. I'm taking you outside today in the snow because it's a perfect day for making a video. Let's go inside. We're going to be using the ring blanks from Amate Studios, which are available on our website. Let me show you what I've devised to hold the ring straight up so we can pour Yudi right into it. I'm using a bottle of To Die For, which I just slip the ring on, and then I rest it on a scissor, and that keeps it straight up. Photocopy to fit in your ring and then just fill it with clear UD from the melting pot. And let it sit there until it hardens. Take a little bit of our brush on super glue and that will help to hold some of these bedazzles in place. You don't need too many because now we're going to fill the cavity with some clear beauty. That is spectacular. Squeeze some of our glitz stickles right into your ring well and then promise me you will let it dry overnight. The following morning you're going to pour your clear beauty into the ring you're just going to be absolutely amazed at the sparkle. It is so gorgeous. Let's add some black beauty to our clear. This helps to cut the black and lets it last longer. Just let it melt and put the cover on. Now let's pour the beauty on an unmounted rubber stamp. You can do it on a mounted stamp as long as you're careful. You don't, don't have to pre-treat the stamp in any way and just leave it and let it harden. When that happens and it's hard, just peel it off the rubber. Take your ring and just press down just to make a slight impression to show you where to cut. When the UD is warm, it's very easy to cut through. Slip it into your ring blank. Brush on some perfect pearls. And voila! Add bling! Yep, you can remelt anything you don't need. Make a mold of something that has a little bit of an impression, like a face, and fill it with beauty. You don't need to fill the whole mold. Remember, it's going to fit into the ring. And let it harden. I dusted with some perfect pearls. And now, after I've measured, I'm just going to cut it to fit into my ring. Remember, when it's warm, you can always adjust it if it needs to be a little bigger or smaller. Can you see what that beautiful little Asian face? Add some white beauty to your black. Doesn't take much. And marble it. And just pour it and fill the cavity. How cool is that? Fill up a ring 
with Glitz Stickles. And then take some store-bought beads and just drop them in. They're going to dry right in the stickles. Whoops! <laughs> oh, we were one bead short there for a minute. And they're going to harden in there just like beautiful stones. And that's how I made this ring. Lots of you like to use glossy accents from Ranger. So I just fill my ring cavity with glossy accents. And then take little jewelry parts or little washers and gently begin stacking them up. Yes, it may take a little bit of time but in the end, you'll have something really unusual. These were some really great projects. I just want to let you know, when the UD contracts from the cold, it may pop out of your ring. You just take a little super glue, put it into the ring well, and then push your piece back in, and then it's in for good. So we just hope you had a great time today, because we sure did.